Oh, man. After that overtime, you need your coffee. As, uh, well, I don't know what happened. The Leafs are terrible three on three. They, uh, it doesn't matter who they start. It could be Marner and Matthews, Marner and Matthews with Riley, Marner, JT, and Riley. Why does Marner and Riley keep starting overtime? Why wouldn't you go with the guy who assisted the game tying goal and the guy who scored the game tying goal? Probably the fastest player on your team, the best suited guy for three on three. No, I'm not talking about Austin Matthews, I'm talking about William Nylander. Uh, when Tavares and Marner and Riley started that, I'm like, we're losing this overtime. We are losing it. Uh, yes, we, I'm a fan, I'm part of the team. Um, I just had this feeling, I was like, okay, they're gonna counter, Dougie Hamilton will be out there. I assumed it was gonna be Jack Hughes with Brat. Instead it was, of course, Heesher and Brat, and they dominated. And then who comes over the boards? Hughes with Sharon Govich. I thought it was gonna be Heesher and Sharon Govich. Uh, I should have recorded that and I had it. Uh, didn't matter. Uh, they continue to dominate. Leafs are dog tired. They can't change. Tavares tries to make an outlet pass. Jack Hughes with the effort to get back. Great move. There's definitely a penalty on it. Sharon Govich scores. Murray makes a great save, but he's not stopping that Sharon Govich chance and Leafs lose in overtime. They get a point that they did not deserve to get, in my opinion. Uh, there was times during the game where Toronto had, you know, dominant puck possession. They were generating chances, even if sometimes they weren't getting shots. Vanacek had to make some good saves, especially just before the Nylander goal. Uh, one particular on Matthews. But overall, Toronto wasn't dangerous. Um, they had some puck possession, like I said, but there was never any, like, danger. New Jersey collapsed well. They took away that that center lane and like the only reason Nylander scored that tying goal was because it deflected off of Sigenthal or whoever was the defender um, and beat Vanacek because if now if not he was making that save um, obviously Toronto scored first in the game it was at like six minutes to go I bet like a dollar that no one would score in the first 10 which was awesome cool I got like two bucks back but uh, it was a good play bunting Matthews bunting on the power play because if you saw John Tavares my god his lip is just just exploded uh, so puffed up it's like a puffer fish he's like a Kardashian he, uh, he must have been in so much pain throughout that game but John Tavares just just powers through uh, anyway it led to bunting feeding Matthews wide open net tapping goal on the power play awesome only problem is Toronto forgot that they had to continue to play the game because right away Brat snipe Murray no chance no chance there right in the slot closer in uh, phenomenal shot uh, to make it 1-1 so Toronto's mistake cost them there uh, however New Jersey's effort their effort tonight all four lines that's that's what gave them the win let's be honest and they should have given the win in regulation uh, we go into the second period, and everyone's talking about Jordy Ben. I was raving about Jordy Ben. I'm still am. Uh, he should have put it to the outside there, to the right wing, when he came over the blue line on that four on two or whatever it was. Kind of bobbles the puck. Of course, uh, I don't even know who the the New Jersey Devils player is. The right hander guy. He was flying all night. Such with the Z Zetter something Zellerberg. I don't know. He looked great, just like everyone else on the team. You got him and Miles Wood, and all these guys are just going, go, go, go. Then you got, like, speed and shiftiness of Jack Hughes and Brat, and then Heischer's just an all-arounder. And speaking of Heischer, he gets the pass, and he absolutely snipes on Murray. Like, Murray, you can tell, he doesn't have, like, this wicked, crazy, like, amazing glove. He's just a big guy I get in front of the puck. That's my goal. Perfect shot. Perfect shot, 2-1. Again, Toronto mistake cost them uh then when you watch it you're just watching new jersey just flying out there all four lines how many times did new jersey's fourth line just hem toronto's top line or second line it doesn't matter who in their own zone and it was just go 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 uh if you like watching comparing the two teams which is crazy because everyone was like shitting on new jersey and the fire lindy stuff at the beginning of the year but this team top to bottom one through four 
Uh, you got a mixture of side, speed, tenacity. They're just going. You have everything. It's such a good mix. Um, right now, I'm going to say Jesper Bratt and Hughes' contracts look phenomenal already. Like Jack Hughes at $8 million, you're like, wow. Saved about two, two and a half million there. Bratt, what's he around six something? That's another, like two million saved the way he's playing. Uh, crazy. Anyway, and then you look at the, the defense for New Jersey. Big, strong, can move the puck. Uh, like Graves is playing like he did in Colorado. Dougie Hamilton's found his footing. I guess uh, Severson's definitely not going anywhere. Uh, they've got right-handers and left-handers and they've got everything. I'm so impressed. And really, what everyone was talking about was like they needed consistent goaltending. Didn't have it at the beginning of the year. That's why they ended up being 3-3-1. Three, three and one. Well, now they've won 11 straight games. And you're looking at it and Vanacek's playing phenomenal. Well, they're all... They're, New Jersey's just getting it done. It's... Uh, that good goaltending complements a team that is, has amazing depth mixed with some superstars uh, compared to Toronto where yes we're top heavy uh, and people say well we have to get rid of one of them well yeah probably because the depth just isn't there like if the top line's not producing the Leafs are boned and or Jordy Ben um Yeah. Anyway, okay, so obviously game plays out. Uh, shots are like 30 to 20. Nylander finally scores, goes in overtime. We've already been through it. Um, Toronto buggered it up. New Jersey deserves to win. Lucky to get a point. I hate losing. But the big question here is comparing those two teams. Like, New Jersey's cupboard uh, is on the ice. As in, like, they have guys on ELCs playing and playing well and doing damage and contributing to the team. Toronto does not have that. And those players that have that they have in are just taking up that extra cap space, right? New Jersey gets to save all this cap space <clears throat> because the guys are on ELCs. Like, I know it's like, who do you move? Um, do you move Hall? He's only $2 million right-hand defenseman. Uh, ideally, Toronto should have moved Muzzin in the off season. Maybe Muzzin and Kerfoot, because that would save you what eight and a half million, and you could have filled that bottom. Uh, you know, you could you could have had another defenseman um, that could give you seventeen to nineteen minutes a night, twenty minutes a night. Um, I guess the Sandy holdout didn't help. Uh, and up front, like I love what Kerfoot brings. He's a he's very busy, but there's not much that goes on does that make sense like he works hard he does some amazing things and then the shift's kind of just done and then he goes off uh he can play anywhere in the lineup which is awesome but with the way everything's going and potentially you could have a three and a half million dollar player playing on the fourth line and still does he even fit there i don't know what the Leafs do like who, who do you trade who do you trade who do you move obviously you can't move the muzzin contract now that'll cost you uh, who knows what to get rid of it. Um, you can't go out and get a, a top four defenseman because that's going to cost you a number one and a prospect minimum. Already looking at Chitrin there in Arizona. Uh, the Morgan Riley contract isn't looking very good. I know people say like trade Nylander, trade Marner. Yeah, but they're they're playing up to their contract in my opinion. Marner frustrates the hell out of me at times. And then at other times you're like, wow. Someone can, who compared him? Is it Steve Tangle? Someone compared him to uh, <clears throat> Steph Curry. And I completely agree. As in, he does some magnificent things and he does some frustrating things. Um, not on Steph Curry's level, I don't think. But I just don't know. So I, I don't think you trade Nylander because his is, in, a, in my opinion, a big contract. He's making less than $7 million. Nope, that's a great contract for him. He could be making about, what, eight, nine? So... Nope, no Nylander. Marner, I think he's worth his contract. You keep him. Matthews, he becomes a FA, you give him eight years and whatever he wants. One of my friends said, uh, what, well, he's gonna ask for the moon. For me, I say, which planet? Which moon from which planet? Do you want them all? Here, take them. 
Um, Tavares ain't moving. I wouldn't want to move Tavares. I never have. I haven't been that person. The Riley contract looks very questionable now. At the time, before I was about to say... So what would you guys do? What would you guys do to get into a spot like New Jersey? Um, Toronto has potential for that forward group. Um, I'd love to see uh, Steve's up in the lineup at some point. Uh, give some guys in the farm a chance. Uh, it just sucks because of cap constraints and contracts and all that. Uh, but the big thing is, on defense, how do the Leafs get that Muzzin-type player? And who is it? Who's that player for you? Uh, comment down below your thoughts on the game, your thoughts on the Leafs, your thoughts on the Devils. I haven't seen the Devils play this year, and I was thoroughly impressed. Anyway, that's it for me. Next game, Hockey Night in Canada, Saturday night, Buffalo. <laughs> Here we go. We already know Buffalo games are an absolute shit show. All right, and Buffalo, they, they bring it to Toronto. Come on. Let's go Leafs. Go Leafs, go.